everyone, Amadorn here, and welcome back to Amadorn's Realms. We are in the keep, and uh, today we're going to be working on the framework for the upper upper part of the building. Now, I went ahead and cleared out this area here. Um, you can kind of see in the back the lines of where the hill was originally. Um, and now I have some of the framework already built, so let's go take a look at that. Climb up this ladder here. Oh, it's getting dark. Let's see if we can sleep real quick. There we go. Ah, there. Oh, an item frame. Okay, and the rain stopped. Alright, so let's climb up here and see what we got. Now, like I said, I cleared out this whole area. This used to be part of a hill. Um, I ended up moving my bed and my storage area down here for right now. Um, I put some signs on there. Um, I did have item frames on there, but in the last snapshot, the item frames weren't working properly. Um, so I ended up having to, uh, they just weren't showing up. Um, so when I logged in, the item frames showed up. I just took them off. Uh, we'll just leave them that way for now. Um, this over here, if I can get around without falling um, this area here is going to be the main the main part of the building um, we'll have our main audience hall here we've got our entrance area down there I think we'll do some steps that could lead up to uh, this area uh, we'll have some rooms and stuff up here and then we'll have our main throne room um, I did build uh, if we come out here I put in this circle here so that we could plan out the possibility of having a nice stained glass window. Now I may do it here or I may save it and do it down to the other end or I may do it both. I'm not really sure yet um, but I wanted the possibility of having it there. Um, I've got a couple of small towers on either side and um, if we come over here Uh, you can see that I've started working on um, what might be flying buttresses. Um, I'm not 100% certain I'm going to keep them. Uh, looks like there's a skilled horse up on top of the, uh, uh, the keep there. <laughs> That's weird. Um, but yeah, so I've put in these flying buttresses. And I haven't decided if I'm going to keep them or if I'm going to, you know, or get rid of them or, or what yet but I wanted the opportunity to put them on there and see what it looked like um, if we come around here uh, we'll have a building uh, you know an attachment here um, these this might be a ballroom um, it might be uh, Cooking chambers, although cooking chambers will probably be down there. Um, maybe a library. We've got room for a tower here. And then we've got another small tower here uh, with a building in between. And so that is kind of our main framework for the keep. Um, let's go down to the ground and see what it looks like from there. All right, yeah, there we go. And yeah, I don't know if the flying buttresses will work or not because it really doesn't seem like I'm going to have enough room to do them over here without going all the way all over. Uh, I'm not sure. But that is kind of what I want the, the, the main keep to look like. That's uh, its main structure. Now I'm going to go ahead and work on finishing up the frame. And um, we will be back once I've got that done. Folks, we are back. And yes, I am in creative mode at the moment because I want to give you a really good view of what we've got set up here. Uh, we've got our main keep here, our main hall. Got uh, this window here, 
Um, I think I am going to do it uh, repeated in the back, and I may actually uh, move this to the back instead of having it here and have some other windows in the front. I've got a tower here on the side. I did put in the flying buttresses. I kind of want to see what they look like. I may take them out in the end. Still, I'm not really sure. Um, I added this on the side of the keep. This wall just seems way too flat, and it really feels like it needs something here. So I've put out this. It, it's going to be basically a balcony. Um, there will be some structure uh, underneath of it. Um, but, you know, it's so the nobles can come out and stand out here and be able to survey the bay. Um, we're we're going to need to put a ship of some sort in there. I uh, just need to make sure that it's big enough to get out. <laughs> um, we've got this tower here on this side. We've got this tower over here. Um, I did add over here this structure right here. Um, this was not here. I added this um, because this corner just came to uh, kind of an abrupt stop. And it really felt like it needed something to come out here. Um, we have this here. Um, I don't know how much, how farther I'm going to build this up. I may bring this up to this level. Um, I haven't really decided. I think originally I had planned to have that kind of open, but um, with these two buttresses here, it kind of feels like it really needs to have something else there. Um, we've got this tower here. And then from the back, this is what the whole building looks like. Again, we'll put in the window here, and I think that'll help move things along. Um, so the Grand Hall itself is probably going to have its floor here. And then this area here will be all open, uh, or for the most part be open. Um, I'm going to have some internal... Uh, structural beams in here. Um, I just need to make sure that I'm not covering up the window too much uh, when I do that. Um, I've thought about having some bells in here as well or or maybe putting in I may raise this up and above and put in some sort of bell tower here. Um, I'm not sure there with that yet. But I like the way it's turning out so far. And I, and I think it'll be a really good uh, structure for the keep. Um, it did bring these out a little bit, um, but I think that's okay. Uh, we are going to have to do something with this. This is going to have to get leveled out a bit. I'm thinking that uh, we'll bring this all down to probably this level here. Um, which I know that means quite a bit of dirt removal. We'll clean this hill up here, and then we'll put in. Basically, this will become like a, like a uh, an outdoor park type area or a garden um, for the family uh, that rules to keep. Kind of a private garden area. We still have our inner bailey here. I think that looks pretty well. We may change this up a little bit, um, and then we got we're gonna work on this t uh, a tower here. Um, this is gonna be a fairly large structure, I think. Uh, we'll have another tower over here. Uh, we'll have another tower over here. Um, this will be kind of the military. Um, this will be uh, the wizards. And then we have the uh, the ruling family. So we've got basically in this key, in this castle here, we'll have three branches of a government that um, kind of are vying for power between themselves. You know, the wizards would like to have full control, um, and they're going to have two towers here. They're going to have this tower, and then they'll have this tower over here. Uh, because I am going to put this, I was going to make this a lighthouse, but I think this would be much better as a, as an extension of the wizard's tower. And then uh, we'll probably end up putting a lighthouse over here on Sheep Island. 
Um, I think that would be the best place for it. And we can put a bridge of some sort going across here. And um, we'll put uh, some sort of structure here. Um, and then we'll have a uh, place in here for a ship. Um, we may get rid of this island here. This this island is kind of in a bad spot. Um, and it's kind of unnecessary. Oh, and then we've got our town. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put in this this uh, circle here for the stained glass window. And you can see the sun setting in the window there. I think that'll be cool. And um, I think I'm going to put a floor on here. And once and that'll probably be about all the time I have for the episode. So uh, let me do that. And um, I'll be back in a few minutes. We are about to finish putting in the last few blocks here on the floor. Uh, let's get these done here. I've had to go back several times to get more stone so I can make the stone brick slabs. So that I can keep hitting these extra blocks. Lots of crouching going on so I don't fall off. Uh, we did get the uh, circle up here for the uh, stained glass window. Uh, zombie somewhere? Maybe up in the rafters? down in the park maybe I did level this off okay we get this filled in I have decided to go ahead and add another floor underneath this. That's why that hole's over there. I'm also using it to uh, grab stone um, so I could finish these uh, slab floors. So yeah, that'll probably lead down to what will eventually be a dungeon. Can't have a castle without a dungeon. Placing all these slabs. This is getting a little bit on the tedious side with this. But uh, once it's done, you know, move on to the next project. Sometimes the hazards of do building these these large builds is that you kind of get into a monotonous routine. Um, running into that a little bit on the Centercraft server with the temple, uh, the the walls of the temple are, you know, they're they're basically all the same. They're, um, so it can be a little bit difficult to stay motivated on something like that, but. Um, I find that uh, you kind of uh, you take breaks, you you work on other projects. Um, I'm gonna be working on a mob farm here for for the Sentry Grab server here fairly soon, and there's our last slab. Okay, let's go ahead and put down a few torches. We're not gonna torch this thing anywhere near as much as we did the downstairs, uh, but we will put a few here and there. 
Um, and I think that is what we need. Alright, so we have our walls here. Um, you know, that, that lead down into uh, what we got going on down there. I think we're going to put in some beams along here to come straight down. Um, and then we'll actually take those all the way down. Uh, so we have a kind of a guide because when you go downstairs, if we can get down the hole here. So when you come down here, there's nothing that really tells you, I mean, you've got this. So these tell you where um, the hall is, but it doesn't really help you with, um, you know, determining where the beam should be. But we are going to put uh, some staircases going up to uh, that floor um, so that we can have access up there um, we'll probably put in some beams down here first you know kind of go along here one two three four five one two three four five one, two, oops, yeah, see, I miscounted. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so one, two, three, four. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. <clears throat> and we'll do the same on the other side. Go ahead and take this out. And there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoops. And there we go. So these are pillars that uh, we'll put up. I'm going to the ceiling. And I will be doing some falling. There we go. And we'll uh, go ahead and throw some torches on these there we go alright so I'm going to go ahead and finish these off real quick and we'll be back Okay, we have the pillars put up, we have the uh, floor for the sub story put up, uh, we have the framework for the keep all set up, um, 
now it is time for us to start working on walls and finishing off the interior. Uh, we've still got a lot of work to do here, but we're making pretty good progress. Um, I need to plan out some windows and some roofing and go from there. Uh, we're going to need to uh, cut down a bunch of wood in order to make the, uh, the roof. Um, so we'll be doing that here soon. Um, I think in the next next episode though we are going to um try to find our way to the end uh we have not done that yet um i think i'm in a pretty good position uh with my enchants and stuff that we can uh, take on the ender dragon um and uh, explore the end a little bit um so i think we'll be doing that in the next episode Until then, my name has been Amberdorn. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button down below. If you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Goodbye.